Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps.
The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon. But its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Alright, you guys, you two. I'm just going to make a new series. Let's play series. With Jack and Daxter. I'm going down with it. Is it carrying a couple? That's better. Let's show you still this one. These floating HH beams are precursor ores. Hello? Collect enough of them, some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. I'm gonna get 100% on this game. I've just got the PS3 version. I wanna get on the PS3, but my PS3 broke. And I'll do Jack 3 after this. But I haven't got that too. I'm a bit rubbish on Jack, too, but I'll do my best. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a Thank you. 
all of that people. I'm not on PS3, PC collection, the PS3 book. It's a type of eco. Maybe. Maybe. Pick up Get 50 small that. green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. <laughs> Ducks. <laughs> I think he's got muscles. But uh, I'll try and put one in tomorrow. Like some of the village. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Wait a second. Your hair on some else. Um, I was gonna say, um, we're gonna go to the game. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe to me. Peace out.